Second half of section 12.3, solving logarithm equations. Um, sometimes we just call them logs, and that's fine. So if we're going to solve a log equation, what that means is there's an unknown in here somewhere, and we've got to find it, all right? Um, and what we're going to do today in order to find that unknown is we're simply going to use what we know about uh, translating between log form and exponential form. We're going to take the log form, put it back into exponential form, and then we're going to solve it from there, okay? So you might want to put in your notes, number one, change to exponent form. And then number two, you're going to get like bases. All right, so remember how we did that when we had, um, when we had exponent uh, e uh, e equations with exponents, we needed to get like bases in order to figure out what the uh, exponents are. So let's see how that works in this case. So uh, if we're going to change this log, log base b of 16 equals 2, we need to work around our base is b, our exponent is the answer, remember, our exponent is 2, and that's going to equal 16. So now in this case, we've got something squared equals 16. Well, in order to solve that, you know to get rid of the squared, you're just going to take the square root, right? Yeah, so that one's easy. So b equals plus or minus 4. Now what you do need to know is that the base of a log cannot be negative, so this b must equal the positive 4. Okay? Simple enough. So once you get it into exponent form, sometimes the solution is quite simple. Let's look at this one and let's see if this is the same or different. We've got base 3 and the exponent is y and that's going to equal 1 over 27. Now what we have is, um, now we have an, uh, an equation where the exponent is what we don't know. But you've done this before. This is where you get like bases in order to solve it. If we have the, the same base, then the exponents would be equal to each other. We set the uh, exponents equal to each other and we're done. So we've got 3 to the y power. This is, so 3 to the y power is the same as, remember, 27 to the negative 1 power. We're going to bump it up into the, uh, into the numerator by giving it a negative power. And you know that 27 is 3 to what power? 3 times 3 is 9. And 9 times 3 is 27. So 3 to the third power, and because this is a negative one, it's 3 to the negative 3 power equals 3y. So now you know y equals negative 3, and you're done. That one was quite simple, all right? Now you might say, oh, but we couldn't have a negative before. The difference here is what the unknown that we were looking for in this case was the exponent. An exponent can be negative. The base of a log cannot be negative. All right, so that's why this one could not be negative, but this, this answer can be negative. All right, let's do another one. This one's going to be a quick, a quick uh, lesson also. So 25 is your base. 25 to the 1 half power equals x. Well, that one is simple because you've got, all, you've got x on, on, uh, on one side of the equation by itself. So 25 to the 1 half power. Now what you have to do, what we're doing is we're putting all of the different things that you've learned together into one lesson, all right? Because, well, not all of the things you've learned, but several. So the 1 half power, remember, is the same as a square root. Remember, because the 1 is the exponent and the 2 is the root. So the 25 is, um, or 25 to the 1 half power is the square root of 25. So the square root of 25 is 5, and so 5 equals x, and you're done. So log of tw the log base 25 of 5 equals 1 half. So that's where your x is. All right, last one. One more, but it's a little bit more involved. All right, in order to get, in order to turn this into a, um, an exponential form, you've got to have the log by itself. So this is a little bit like solving with square roots or with squared terms. You had to first isolate the squared term or the square root term and then 
undo some things and then solve again. So what you're going to do is first you're going to solve for the log itself and then change that into the, uh, the exponent form. Let me show you what I mean. So the log is what you want by itself. So this five is extra, so you're gonna need to subtract five from both sides. So negative three log base two of x now equals negative seven minus five. What is that? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, negative 12. All right, and now this log is still multiplied by something. So you divide, just as if this whole log were just the x, you're going to get the whole log by itself. So divide by negative three. And so now, because those cancel, now you have log base two of x equals negative 12 divided by negative three, negative divided by negative is a positive, 12 divided by three is four. Now you can simply put it into the form that you know, two is your base, Four is the exponent. Remember, the answer to a log is the exponent, and that's going to equal what you're taking the log of. So now you just need to figure two to the fourth power. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. Eight times two is 16. So x equals 16. And you're finished. You can do this. No problem at all. So I didn't put the first step is actually to get the log by itself. So pre, pre one, <laughs> Pre one is to isolate, isolate the log. After the log is by itself, then you can change that into exponent form and get like bases and solve for the um, solve for the unknown. And now you see that you can work. You can find the unknown no matter where it is. If it's the base, you simply take the root. If it's the exponent, you're going to get like bases. And if it's, uh, if it's on the other side of the equation, then you simply work the equation. Take the base to the root and you've got your answer. All right, I think that's it for today. That was another easy one. See you next time.